I want more time. Time to tell my son that I love him more than anything. Time to understand him better. Listen to his opinions. To talk to him, listen to his songs, to tell him I'm sorry. How did you learn to be a father? My dad, um, he took us everywhere and did everything with us. He was always uh, an example for me, and so I just, I just wanted, wanted to be like him. He's a wounded warrior, uh, lost, lost both of his legs in, in Vietnam. I used to walk with a limp because of my dad. There was no reason for me to limp. <laughs> I patterned myself that much after how my father was because my dad was larger than life to me. He was never afraid to tell me that he loved me. That was something that really, uh, really impacted me and something that I wanted to make sure that I carried on uh, when I became a father. If you didn't learn it from your own dad, how did you learn to be a dad? Because I was a, a son who needed a father. And it, it was just a matter of in my head, filling in those numerous blanks that were there. I need to be present. I need to listen. I need to value what my son says. All of those things I start to check down on my sheet as far as what I wish was there for me and how then I translate that to him. I unfortunately didn't have a father. I grew up an orphan. So I learned um, a lot of things on my own. I also knew that if I just do things with my heart, then I'll be fine. Uh, my dad left when I was three years old, and I really didn't get an opportunity to really meet him and until I was 18 years old. I just know that I don't want to be like my biological dad. I want to be there. And can you be a great dad without having had a great dad yourself? I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I think I'm proof that you don't have to have a good dad to be a good dad because my dad was not a good listener. I never felt like he was someone that I could talk to and tell him how I felt. He saw emotion as a weakness, where I see it as a strength. The greatest love I've ever experienced is being a parent. And I remember my wife giving birth to him and looking at him and just crying because it was like, this is my son. My mom died. But we still have a bond, and me and my dad have a bond. The bond with dad, it's one of the things that keeps us together. My dad would not have liked it if I had a mohawk. I remember when I was 17, I came home with an earring, and he was furious, and he did not want me in the house. I've always told him that no matter where we go, if you want to go out, you tell me you want to go, and you can always go wherever I go. So. He's not going to be left in the car because it's too hard. What's one thing you love about your dad? He takes me everywhere he goes. So sometimes I put glasses on just because he didn't want to wear his, his, uh, his, his, his eyeglasses. And uh, that's why he wears them now. You can't, you can't take them off. Isn't that right? 
You can't take them off. Who wears who wears those glasses? And who else? That's right. My parents were kind of like I. I could have had a 290-yard rushing game and had four sacks and we won the state title and it was like good game. <laughs> Trash duty tomorrow. <laughs> Although I do raise though them with those type of values. Uh, you're never as good as you think you are. You're never as bad as you think you are. You're somewhere right in the middle. But I make sure that they know how much I love them and how much I'm proud of them. How do you know your dad loves you? A lot of hugging, kissing, I love you stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you stuff. That's pretty good. You're going to pretend that you are a dad. Um, son, hold my hand. Stay next to me until we can cross. What if I don't listen? You will listen. <laughs> and what have you learned from dad? to be nice to people and be kind. And what kind of dad do you want to be? This kind. How do you know your dad loves you? He says it 24-7. <laughs> and he's not afraid to show it either. And what do you love most about dad? He's like my best friend. Tell me what you love most about daddy. I love his heart. I think you don't have to have a good dad to be a good dad. And it really doesn't matter what surroundings you're in to become a good dad. You know, being a dad doesn't have anything to do with blood. It's not biological. It's about a choice that you make to, to love your children. Say thank you. Thank you. Another year over, where do they go to? It's a mystery. Now it's December, so much to remember before Christmas Eve. I'm already late, and my train is delayed. Disruption on the line. I race into work, and the place is berserk. Yes, it's Christmas time. I want to find the greatest gift I can give my family. Right now, I don't have time to breathe. The streets are chaotic, the shops idiotic. There's a queue for the queue. A granny's taking her time at the front of the line. 91, 92. There's a party at work and the manager's twerking inappropriately. To top off the day, another train is delayed. It's a catastrophe. Christmas time is here I'd like to spend the time with the ones I love so dear I'm trying to find the greatest gift I can give my family I don't have time, there's only one of me Tell me how do people do it all I'll never get it done If only there was a way to be In two places at once Wait, that gives me an idea If I wasn't alone, what if I had a clone? I could do so much more It would all be a breeze with a couple more me's I'd have time galore I want to find the greatest gift I can give my family The greatest gift I can give is me Now I can meet with the boss and empty out my inbox all simultaneously Leaving me time to spend with my family and friends where I want to be I want to find the greatest gift I can give 
greatest gift that I can give is me.